Deciding to list on the stock exchange through an initial public offering, or IPO, is a big step for any company. It marks the transition from being privately owned and controlled to becoming a public company. Shareholders expect greater transparency into business operations and may play a significant part in directing the future of the company. A company may engage in an IPO for the following reasons. Access to capital for growth. Currency for external growth. Increase its profile. Attract institutional investment. Improved valuation. Greater efficiency. Access a secondary market for shares. Align employee or management commitment. Reassure customers and suppliers. An exit strategy for directors or investors. Despite the advantages, there are significant requirements around compliance and reporting as a listed company. These include increased regulation, reporting and continuous disclosure requirements, increased public oversight, associated costs and complexities of listing a company. While every IPO is different, the process generally takes at least five months. The first thing to do is to appoint advisors who assist with the drafting of the prospectus and form part of the due diligence process. You are restricted in the marketing activities you undertake before you launch your prospectus, but you can undertake an IPO roadshow to institutional investors. After lodging the prospectus with ASIC, there is an exposure period of seven days, which ASIC can extend to 14 days. Within a week of lodging the prospectus, the listing application needs to be lodged with the ASX. It generally takes between four to six weeks for the application to be approved. After the exposure period, retail investors can take up your offer and once your application is approved, you can celebrate by ringing the bell. It is critical to put together a strong team of advisors. This would include the lead manager, underwriter, lawyer, investigating accountant, technical expert and communications expert. The advisory team can be the difference between a smooth, seamless listing or a protracted and difficult process. It is important to choose team members who have experience with successful IPOs, know your industry well, take a whole of business approach and are willing to provide honest advice even when it is not positive. Conducting due diligence and forming a due diligence committee has emerged as a market practice for issuers seeking to mitigate the risk of future liability from a poor quality prospectus. This step also ensures the prospectus includes all information necessary to make an informed investment decision. Members of the committee are usually directors, legal advisors, investigating accountants and lead managers. It is also important to ensure everyone in the business knows what roles they play after the IPO is complete. A successful listing means increased capital, but also attracts a new regulatory framework and ongoing reporting requirements. Appoint a strong board of directors and put relevant committees together to ensure all governance requirements are met. It is also recommended to maintain a team of advisors who can help the business ensure compliance with all regular reporting requirements. If you decide to go ahead with an IPO, seek expert advice as early as possible in the process. RSM has extensive experience in helping Australian companies prepare for successful IPOs. To find out more about going IPO, visit rsm.com.au slash transactions. There are a few key admission criteria to list on the ASX as follows. Further details on listing rules can be found on asx.com.au slash listings.